In today's video, we're talking about how to pick out your best photos in Lightroom. Let's get into the video. So when you first bring photos into Lightroom, the first thing that I always do is go through and pick out your keepers. Not every photo you take is gonna be awesome, fantastic, nor do you wanna edit it all. So what I do is I go through and I pick out my keepers and select just the photos I wanna edit. So let's jump over to Lightroom and I'll show you how I do that. Here we are over in Lightroom and I have my photos that I last imported up in the grid view and I wanna go through each photo and rate it. And the way that I choose to do that is by using pick flags. I think this is the quickest way and the most efficient way to go through and select your images that you wanna edit. Not every image is gonna be great, so we just wanna pull out the keepers, the best images, the best of the best. I'm gonna select my first photo and I wanna look at it and decide, do I wanna keep it and edit it? Do I wanna just leave it alone and not touch it? I'm not sure. Or is it definitely no good, I don't wanna use it. To make these selections, there's a couple different ways you can use your pick flags. I like to use the keyboard shortcuts because it's the quickest. If you use the letter P, that'll put a pick flag on that particular image and you can see right here, there's a flag up here. If you think this photo is no good and you wanna reject it, press the letter X. And now you'll see it'll put a flag with an X up there, meaning it's rejected and I don't wanna use it. If I don't wanna use any pick flag at all, you press the letter U and it removes the flag. So those are your three keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna just look at my images here now and make them bigger by going into the loop view down here. And I'm gonna flip through my images and decide whether I wanna keep it and edit it, whether I don't wanna do anything with it or I wanna reject it. Okay, so there we go, I've gone through and I've picked a couple images. If I go back to my grid view and I scroll through my images here, I can see the ones that I picked have a little flag in the corner. So those are the ones that I'm gonna wanna go through and edit. Some of them I rejected and others I wasn't sure about so I just left them blank. So now that we have the images we wanna edit selected, we can then make collections, we can filter them. There's a lot of different ways that we can view them. So for example, in this catalog here, if I wanted to see just the images that I put pick flags on, I'm gonna come down to the filter bar down here and here says filter, and this is all the different ways you can filter your images. So if I select the flag here, it's gonna show me just the images that I pick. And those are the ones that I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and edit. So I think it's worth mentioning real quick that there are other ways to rate your images. You can use stars. I found that it just took more time to rate them that way. And at the end of the day, I just wanna know, is it a keeper or is it eh? And sometimes you end up with more keepers than you need, but I think it's just quicker to use the pick flags. I will use the colors for different things. Sometimes I'll use red. If I have two images that are similar and I say I need to swap somebody's face or something in Photoshop, I'll make both images red so I know I need to edit them in Photoshop. So there you go, it's a quick way on how to go through your images and pick out just the keepers. That way you don't waste too much time editing photos that are no good anyway. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.